Hey, good morning, everybody. I'd like to start this out with a verse from Matthew 1, 23. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And this is the Christmas story. Many years ago, God, the heavenly trail boss, creator of heaven and earth, sent his top hand, Gabriel, to a young woman, Mary, who was soon to be married to a man named Joseph. Gabriel told Mary, Peace be with you. God, our heavenly trail boss, has blessed you. He is very pleased with you. Mary was surprised by this and not sure what to say. There is no need to be in fear, Gabriel continued. Our heavenly trail boss has been very kind to you, and the Holy Spirit will make it possible for you to give birth to a son, and he will be called Jesus. He will be the son of you and our heavenly trail boss, and his kingdom shall never end. Then let it happen as he chooses, said Mary, as she was a woman of strong faith. Joseph soon to be Mary's husband, was uneasy when he discovered Mary was to be with child before their wedding day and was concerned if the marriage should even happen. That is, until, as he was sleeping, an angel appeared in his dream. Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, the angel said, because Mary has been chosen by our heavenly trail boss to be the mother of his son. He is to be called Jesus, which means Savior, and he will save many people. When Joseph awoke, he understood, and as the angel in his dream told him, he happily took Mary as his wife. At this time, Mary and Joseph were living far away from town in the high country. In order for the governor to collect taxes, he ordered all people to return to their hometowns and enter their names in the town scroll. Mary and Joseph had a long journey to the town Joseph's clan came from, and since Mary was close to giving birth to Jesus, the trip would take a long time. your baby boy would one day walk on water Mary did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new this child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hands? Did you know? your baby boy has come to make you this baby you kiss the face of God
the nations did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect plan when you kiss your little baby you kiss the face of god By the time they reached the town to sign the scroll, it was so crowded, there were no rooms available to stay in. The only cover they could find was a stable, which they shared with the livestock that lived there. And it was there that Jesus was born. He was wrapped in a blanket and placed in the hay manger. Looking for the king, a new Messiah. I'm in the star shining. Shook his head, but he pointed his hand. There's a new kid in town, and he's lying in a manger down the road. There's a new kid in town, but he's just another baby, I suppose. Heaven knows, there's a new kid in town. Here in Bethlehem I see you've traveled far Bearing trails Say these gifts are for the new king's pleasure. I heard that a king might come, but up till now there hasn't been one. But there's a new kid in town, and he's lying in a manger down the road. New kid in town, but he's just another baby, I suppose. Heaven knows there's a new kid in town here in Bethlehem. kid in town and he's lying in a manger down the road there's a 
new kid in town But he's just another baby, I suppose Heaven knows There's a new kid in town Here in Bethlehem Then, as a new day began, an angel appeared before some shepherds who were tending their flocks not far away. And at first they were frightened, but the angel exclaimed, Be not afraid, I bring great news. Today our Savior has been born, and you will find him resting in a hay manger. And after that, many more heavenly angels appeared, praising the birth of our Savior through beautiful song. Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Shepherds then traveled to the birthplace and found the baby Jesus laying in the manger as they were told. And all who heard the story told to the shepherds by the angel were in awe of the good news. The shepherds then returned to their flocks praising God for sending his son to be their savior. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and
Now, when Jesus was born, a bright new star appeared in the sky. Three very wise elderly men who lived in countries far to the east saw it, and they understood the meaning of that bright new star. Their wisdom enabled them to know that a new star would appear above the Savior's birthplace. So they set out on horseback to find the baby Jesus and bring him gifts. And they chased the star until it stopped. And when it did, it was shining down upon the exact location of our new Savior. elders entered the shelter Mary and Joseph were now living in they found the baby with his mother Mary they then bent down and began to praise and worship him and they placed a hat a saddle and a lariat beside him these gifts he will use as he rides throughout the nations rescuing those from the darkness and pulling them into the light Then the elderly wise men rode back east, returning to where they had come from.
us, Lord, at thy birth. This concludes the Riding the River Cowboy Fellowship version of A Christmas Story. Good stuff. Good job, good job. Here in just a minute, we'll bring up the cast, the rest of them. I'll, you can see them again. Just want to close our service with a word this morning. You know, in, in Luke chapter 2, the rest of this story, and of course, you, you've seen the birth of Christ. You've seen what transpired in the story of the birth of Christ. But in Luke chapter 2, this is the prophecy of Simeon. It said, At that time there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there and he took the child in his arms and he praised God saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace as you have promised. I have seen your salvation which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations and he is the glory of your people Israel. Our prayer at Riding the River this morning is that maybe you showed up here not expecting to see a, a Christmas program, really not expecting to know why you were here. You just knew that something had drawn you here this morning, that God was calling you here. Our prayer is that you have seen the light to the world. For those of you that have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, our prayer is like Simeon that you are eagerly expecting the Messiah to come. Our prayer is that this season that you focus on Jesus and not the Christmas trees or the gifts or all of that stuff. All of those are great. Family is great. I encourage you to do those things. But even with those things, our prayer is that our prayer will be, God, open our eyes so that we can see the light of the world. God, open our eyes so that we can see Jesus and not just see him, that you truly know him. You see, there's some of you in this room this morning, man, you've heard the Christmas story and, and not, not disrespecting you at all, but you come twice a year to church sometimes. You come at Easter and you come at Christmas. So you've heard about the birth of Christ. You've heard about the death of Christ. So you know all about him. But my question this morning is, do you know him? Do you know him? Because he wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to reveal that he is light. Some of you are looking at what's going on in 2020, and as we end this year, you're thinking about all the trouble and all that stuff. Guys, this is the greatest time in the history of the world to be alive because we are one day closer to when our Messiah comes again. And this time he's not coming in a manger. This time there's not going to be a star of David shining. This time there's not going to be shepherds coming. This time he is going to show up with a shout of triumph to take his people home. My prayer, my prayer is that you'll go home and read Luke chapter 2 on the prophecy of Simeon because that prophecy should be our words where we are anxiously waiting on our Messiah. Jeremy's going to come up and, and close our service with a Christmas prayer, something he has in his Bible. But again, we, we never meet together, we never worship together without giving you an opportunity to know that there's a God who loves you. And there's a God who forgives all sin. There's a God waiting for you to come boldly before his throne and say, here I am. I accept you as Lord and Savior. Jeremy, come on out. You sir. bet. Well, good morning. You're going to call them up here to introduce everybody right there. Okay. Uh, you know, to piggyback off of what Jeff said, the biggest thing 2020 has taught me is that I'm supposed to be praying for the Lord's return. 
and that's, a, that's we're something we're called to do as Christians, but we don't ever really think about that, or I never really thought about that. So, you know, with the first coming of Christ, as it was badly needed at that time, we're in a world today where it's, it's badly needed for him to come back. And he says, I'm coming back soon. So I want to read this to you. This is from the Possibility Thinker's Bible. It says, O oh, Father, as the burst of an infant's cry penetrated a dark, silent night, so may your love fill my life this morning with the joy of Christmas. For that child, your son, has brought a star of hope and a prism of peace into a world needing a guiding light. Now I come to thank you and join the angels in singing glory to God in the highest. For with the birth of your son, my own, my own life is reborn. Let me read that again. For with the birth of your son, my own life is reborn, giving me peace, even in the midst of turbulence, giving me hope despite the despair, giving me joy in place of sorrow and love, love to overcome all strife and tensions. So now I gratefully receive your gift, your son, the Christmas child. Amen. 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 All right. Just because I never do anything without getting in trouble, Miss Kim. I might need her husband up here too, but just to feel me. Kim, stand up, please. <laughs> Kim has worked tirelessly, put a lot of effort into this. All of the cast and crew, where are the wise guys? I mean the wise men. <laughs> guys, y'all come on up here. Anybody that was part of this cast, part of this, y'all come on up to the front. All of our angels, choir, the behind the scenes people that are hiding back there, y'all come on down. I think we lost a horse in the middle of this thing. Is this all of them? Good deal. We have goats. They might turn those loose here in a minute. But ju just a quick thing. First of all, let's give a round of applause to this crew. Christmas Eve, I mean Christmas Day, Christmas Day at 6 o'clock, we're going to be serving a meal out here, and then this group is going to put on the Christmas program again, so you are more than welcome to attend it again. If you know somebody that wasn't here today, family coming in, invite them to come uh, fellowship with us and then worship with us, but again, thank you to every one of y'all. The other thing I want to mention about this, man, it, it is not just one person that ministers at this church. You see this? This is a team and it's a family that has presented the gospel. Now take this message and go present it to your family. Go and tell somebody about the love of Jesus. Tell them about the reason of the season. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. God, I thank you for the gifts and talents and abilities of each person up here. God, for the message that was relayed today. Father, I pray that, that we would not just look for that star, but God, that we would... Use that star to shine our light, Lord, into all the world. Father, we love you. Lord, we thank you for salvation through your son, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come visit with the cast. If you want to pet a goat, there's a goat running loose somewhere. <laughs>